He meant that your favorite photo from my godhood, Kelly Tukebika. Now, I made a video on my TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook the importance of good litter material and the consequences of bad litter material. I've been getting different kind of comments. Now, I mean, when I was going through those comments on TikTok, on Facebook, on Instagram, and on my Twitter page, and on Facebook as well, I noticed that most people are having issues with chronic perspective disease. That's C-R-O-D. Now, what, what do I mean by chronic perspective disease? I mean by cough. I mean by coughing, sneezing, swelling of an eye, rocker feathers, most of ETC. Now, now, today I'll be showing you guys how to treat cough and chicken. Chronic respiratory diseases. How to treat cough and chicken. Mostly it's called chronic respiratory diseases. Yeah, so because some persons call it cough, some persons call it sneezing, some persons call it gasping of air, and some persons call it mycoplasma, some persons call it CRD. I'll be showing you guys how to treat, I'll be showing you guys how to treat cough and chicken. Okay, so before then, please subscribe to my channel, like, hit that notification bell. So whenever I release a new video, you get it automatically. Okay, so whenever chicken cough or sneeze, it means that chicken is suffering from chicken respiratory disease, known as chronic respiratory disease, CRD, known as CRD, chronic respiratory disease. Now, which is caused by Mycoplasma galaceticum. Mycoplasma galaceticum is a bacterial disease. But in most cases, chicken cough is caused by CRD, which I will explain. Now, the good antibiotics, now it can be treated, this cough, cough can be treated with a good antibiotic. When I mean by good antibiotic, I mean by, it's, it's either you use Nidogen or you use gross spectrum. Because these are good, good antibiotics to use to treat. Now, one thing about antibiotics, one about, um, um, one thing about CRD, chronic respiratory disease, it does not leave your a bed. No, it does not leave your bed. It stays with that, that, that particular bed. CO, it gets knocked out, it gets killed, or the bed eventually dies. So that's one thing about CRD. Now, my problem is now this. Most of these diseases, most of these chronic respiratory diseases, that's what I talk about. Now, we talk, let's, now let's, that's where I come in to talk about standard. Almost every everybody, in especially in Nigeria, everybody wants to own a breeder house. Now, most of these diseases, most of these chronic respiratory diseases come from the breeder house because of there's no standard. Okay, so because of there's no standard. So, as a poultry farmer, and you should mind where you get, as a poultry farmer, please be careful how you where you get your devil cheek. Because some of these, sometimes, some of these diseases come from the hatchery. Okay, so, be very careful. Now, I will show you guys how to treat CRD. But before the first treating child, you need to know what is the cause of this CRD, chronic respiratory Now, what are the causes of cough in your poultry farm? Now, what are the causes of CRD, chronic respiratory disease? Now, so chronic respiratory disease is basically caused by mycoplasma galaceticum. Now, just forget about the grammar. It's caused by, it just, it's the under name for, it's cough. You get mycoplasma galaceticum. Now, but the basic factor, the basic factors, the basic factors of this disease is caused by stress. Now, what kind of stress are we talking about? We're talking about lack of vitamin. Now, lack of vitamin. Now, when you are getting feed, now, what lack of vitamin, when you are getting feed and when you are getting feed and your drugs, check the, especially feed, check the content of your feed. Does it contain high level of vitamin, which is wonderful? Does it contain high level of crude protein? High percentage of crude protein, which is wonderful. Does it contain high level of, a high percentage of energy, which is wonderful. Now, when you get feed and it does not contain some certain amount of vitamin, please check the expiry date of that feed, okay? It's very important. Check, remember, check the vitamins of your feed and your drug you are giving them. It's very important. Now, another cause of stress for your bed is extreme temperature. Now, what kind of, now, starting from the foundation of your poultry farm is during your brooding. Now, what kind of temperature do you give, what kind of temp temperature do you give your bed during brooding? Now, during this heat period, now, you should, through the weather, through weather condition, you should know the kind of you should know through weather conditions, you should know the kind of heat, you should know when to give your bed heat, and you should know when to withdraw that heat. That is why it's very important during brooding, it is very necessary because at that point, your bed cannot control their weather, because they've not grown their feather to control their weather. That's why it's important for that two weeks, you keep them in a restricted area, where they can, where they can, where they, where they have a good temperature. It's called brooding for that two weeks. Now, another lack of, another stress, 
another cause of factors that causes stress and lack of space. Now, as your brother keep growing up, as a cause of causes of cough, chronic respiratory disease, lack of space. Now, as your brother keeps growing, it is very important to give them enough space. Immediately after breeding, make sure you are giving them enough space. Immediately after breeding, every week, as make sure you expand their space. Because this guy, with that space, they can't grow. And when you don't give them enough enough space, now they get overstocked. And when they get overstocked, they start now now the litter gets contaminated. Let's start seeing the wet litter. Now, remember, wet litter produces amino gas, which is very harmful. Now, amino gas is a is one of the most cause of chronic respiratory disease. Amino gas from your litter. When you have wet litter in your poultry farm, okay. So, guys, be very very careful. Now, the last then another factor, another cause is stress. Factor stress is poor welfare. How is your bowel secreting your poultry farm? How is your bowel secreting your poultry farm? Is your bowel secreting very standard in your poultry farm? If it's not, guys, we should treat the kind of people you, that come to your head that enters your poultry farm. That's your under form of that's an under factor of stress in your poultry farm. To stop scoring respiratory diseases. Now, you have to follow these steps: lack of vitamin, extreme temperature, lack of space, and poor welfare. Make sure that you tackle all these. It's very important in your poultry farm. Now, for me, whenever I enter my poultry farm, I find it difficult to breathe. That means I that means you I, I, I would have that it is time to change my little material. Now when you enter using your stock sense, a protein farmer, using your stock sense matters a lot. When you enter your protein farm, you find it so difficult to breathe, then you should know that yeah, it is time to change your little material. As you can see, my little material is one that is fresh and these guys are cruising it. Okay. So guys, now the next thing is what are the symptoms of chronic respiratory disease? What are the symptoms that causes cough? What are the symptoms, symptoms that causes cough in your brother bed? What are the symptoms that causes sneeze in your brother bed? What are the symptoms that causes them to have fluffy feather in your brother in your brother bed? So, now, what are the symptoms of chronic respiratory disease? Now, note that chronic respiratory disease starts from three weeks to six weeks in your poultry in your chicken. Now, and from the main symptoms is you see them drop of feed consumption. They stop consuming feed like they normally do. Now, all slow growth. Now, these are the key factor symptoms before they start developing. Now, remember, they are, they, these symptoms start from three weeks to four weeks. That's when they start developing these symptoms. From three weeks, they start developing symptoms. Now, the main key symptoms of this chronic respiratory disease is you see them slow in feed consumption. They reduce the way they consume feed. And number two is slow growth. You see them, they stop growing. They stop growing. Now, now, so what are the basic factors of this? What are the basic symptoms of this chronic respiratory disease? Now it's dropping. Now as a poultry farmer, you see your poultry, you see your bed, you see the you see them. This boy, this brother is not feeding. You just see it drop his head. The bed will drop the head on the ground. That's another as a symptom of chronic respiratory disease. Please attend to it very well. Now another symptom is difficulty in breathing. You see them breathing. As a poultry farmer, please pay adequate attention to that chronic to those chickens. When you see them breathing, having difficulty in breathing, breathing like this. That means this guy have already is, is affected with chronic respiratory disease. These are number two symptoms. Now, number three symptom is coughing. You see them coughing massively as a poultry farmer. You see them, it might be surpass, it might be overstocking, yes, which might lead to chronic respiratory disease. You see them coughing. Oh no, you see them sneezing. Them sneezing your poultry farm. That's a poultry farmer. Please be very careful. Okay. The other one, you see them gobbling. Now, gobbling means you see them breathing so like this. <sighs> Guys, pay attention. attention. Now, in the fourth, the sixth one is swollen face. You see that face will be so swollen. That face will be so swollen. As a poultry farmer, please pay adequate attention to it. It is very, very important. That, those, are, these are the same things too. But now, this disease is spread massively. The in as small, they are in the same litter. They are feeding the same drink. They are feeding in this. They are feeding in the same feeder, and they are drinking the same water. These guys develop spread this disease massively. Now, the seventh one is nasal, nasal discharge. You see them discharging some moco, either from the eye or from the mouth or from the nose. So guys, be very careful. Now, the other, the another symptom is number eight symptoms: raw foot feather. Now, this raw foot feather occur start happening from week three. 
you see them having ruffled, you just see them having ruffled feather. Now, there's another chronic species which is caused by coccidiosis. Yeah, it's caused by coccidiosis. You see them having ruffled feather. Now, you see them, and that number, the last one is frotty eye. You see them, one eye is just swollen. One eye is so big that like these guys, now, this point, these things are caused mostly from your amino, amino gas from your later mature, wet later mature, which, which is the most cause of, it's either from the hatchery you got them, or from your litter, which is caused by most, is mostly caused by chronic respiratory disease, the wet later mature, that's why it's very, very, very important to give your bed good attention in your protein farm. As a protein farmer, please, watch out for these symptoms, okay? Now, how do I prevent chronic respiratory disease? Remember, you can prevent chronic, chronic respiratory disease, you can treat chronic respiratory disease, but you cannot cure chronic respiratory disease. Now, this, this stays in your farm. See, remember I told you guys, this chronic respiratory disease stays in your farm till they get killed or they get slaughtered. Till you leave the bed. Now, sometimes then, this might think that you've treated them. Sometimes, if you bring in the next badge, this badge might continue with this chronic respiratory disease. That's why it's very important. Bath security is very important. How do I prevent chronic respiratory disease in chicken? Now, mind you, Chronic respiratory does not only happen to chickens. It, does, it happens to dog, it happens to quails, it happens to mind you, if, if I find this poultry, it happens to it. Okay, now, what are the prevention of, how do I prevent chronic respiratory disease in poultry? Now, how do I prevent chronic respiratory disease in poultry? Number one, keep your chicken away from stress factors. If you don't want your chicken to frequently have cough, keep your chicken away from stress factors. Now, what are these stress factors? Now, we have the physiological stress, we have the nutritional stress, we have the nervous stress, we have the mental stress, we have the clinical stress, we have the climatic stress, we have the poor management stress. Now, physiological stress, physiological stress is caused by nutrition deficiency, disease, and inadequate living. Now, my, like I told you before, mind the kind of feed you give your, you give your, listen, you give your chicken. Especially for day old, mind the kind of chick, mind the kind of feed you give your chicken. Now, when you want to, when you want to start breeding, for breeding, I will advise you guys use Ultima Super Sata Plus for breeding, or you use Top Feed Pro, Pro Line for your breeding. These are wonderful feed. They contain the high, the, the percentage level of crude protein is wonderful. They are percentage level of vitamin is awesome. The percentage level of energy is in the in that feed is awesome. So guys, go check it out. Now, number two is nutritional stress. Now, nutritional stress is poor diet, malnutrition. So guys, be careful the kind of diet. Like I always say, feed, feed is a feed is enough. Feed is, a, is, a, is, a, is another factor that spread disease. Bad feed. Okay. Now, number two is nervous. Nervous stress. Now, remember, beds are very sensitive. Now, when you make noise, if I make noise, then you see this bed will run. See, two beds. <laughs> Circumstances, extreme heat. Mind the way you control the weather. Mind the way you control your poultry farm because of heat. Now, like I always say, that whenever there is heat in the afternoon, do not give them feed in the afternoon. By 12 p.m., do not give them feed. Withdraw their feed. Give them back by 4 p.m. Now, at that moment, what they need is water. Now, if it's possible, add ice block to their water. Ice block helps to cool off. I will have to cool off their breasts uh, because of heat. Now, if you check during heat period, you see a bear lying once. Okay, look at this guy. You see lying once. Look at the breast. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You see lying one side. Now, these guys is lying one side. They want to breathe air to touch the breast. Now, imagine when your litter is wet. That means you are keeping them so comfortable. Okay, so guys, be very careful. Now, climate stress. Climate stress is another condition because of the stress, significant impact in polar chicken. Okay, now farm management. How how do you manage your poultry farm in your farm? How do you manage your poultry farm? Now the second one is clean your pen regularly to avoid ammonia gas from your from your dropping, which is the main stress factor that causes respiratory disease, chronic respiratory. Remember, wet litter 
is the main factor that cause chronic respiratory disease. So as a poultry farmer, please, please be conscious of your litter. Always take care of your litter. Changing your litter every two, two weeks is wonderful. Please to avoid chronic respiratory disease, to avoid sneezing, to avoid coughing, to avoid goggling, to avoid ruffled feather. So guys, please take care of your litter material, okay? As a poultry farmer, take care of your litter material. Now, how do I treat chicken respiratory disease? That's chronic respiratory disease. How do I treat cough? How do I treat sneezing? How do I treat goggling? How do I treat swollen eye? How do I, how do I treat chicken respiratory disease? Now, I've come to, I've come to realize that, now, I've come to realize that calosine and tetracycline are good antibiotics. Good antibiotics to use to treat cough, sneezing, swollen eye, and chronic respiratory disease. Which you may, anyone you may call it, because I know I've noticed that some people call it chronic CRD, some people call it um, cough, some people call it sneezing, anyone you call it. Now, what is the good, what is the, how do I treat chicken respiratory disease? Good antibiotics works a lot. Like good antibiotics like thousand and tetracycline. These are the good antibiotics you can use to treat chronic respiratory disease. Okay, so now, mind you, I'm, I'm not talking to you guys as a veterinary doctor, no. I'm talking to you that based on the knowledge I've acquired as a professional protein farmer. So please, if you notice this disease, chronic respiratory disease, please go meet a veterinary doctor. You can do, you can prescribe more drugs for you. To do. So in my next video, I'll be showing you guys how to treat chronic respiratory disease, natural remedies to treat chronic respiratory disease. In my next video, I'll be showing you guys natural remedies to treat chronic respiratory disease. But please go subscribe to my channel. Follow all my social media handle. My TikTok is your favorite poultry farmer. My Facebook is Godbold Kelly Chukwebuka. My Instagram is Godbold Kelly Chukwebuka. My LinkedIn is Godbold Kelly Chukwebuka. So guys, I should mean that's your favorite poultry farmer. Godbold Kelly Chukwebuka. So as you can see, my bed are doing awesomely well. I've actually sold all the female. So what I have here is mostly male. So these are for Easter. Okay, so guys, we need bed for Easter. Okay, so. Guys, go check my channel, go subscribe to my channel. Thank you.